We mentioned uh, we have a gentleman in the uh, the audience from Wisconsin. What part of Wisconsin, sir? Central. The central part, where they have no cities. Um, anyway, uh, the Markson Veterinary Clinic, and he mentioned he had treats from Wisconsin in here in his veterinary bag. The man spends all day taking the temperature of cattle. <laughs> And, of course, we have the cheese right here in this. We'll gobble this down right after the show. Thank you very much, sir. Can we keep the hat and so forth? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. I don't know why we bother. Uh, this is exciting. My first two guests tonight were recently voted the most, uh, most alike twins in America. All the way from North Dakota, please say hello to Faith... I'm sorry, Faye and Faith Fitzgerald. Yeah. Ladies, come on out. Nice to see you. Hey, how are you? Nice to see you. Have a seat. It's, uh, the, you've heard it all your lives. The resemblance is stunning, isn't it? Oh, yes. We get a lot of comments. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me about the contest. Okay. This was held just in August. It was August 3rd and 4th, and it was their 10th annual Twins Festival. Where was it held? In Twinsburg, Ohio. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's 30 miles south of Cleveland, mm -hmm. and it, it was all held outdoors. It's kind of a kind of a festival. They have to do that, don't they? They have to hold it outdoors for health reasons. <laughs> for, for this type of event, um, there was over 10,000 spectators, so people come How from all entrance? over. How many entrants? Okay, the day we competed in the Most Alike contest, there was over 900 sets of twins, uh -huh. and the last day we were there, there was 1,180. Uh -huh. So 1180. 80 yeah. sets of twins. Do you compete in a lot of these contests? No, this is our first yeah. time. H has your sister ever said a word? <laughs> <laughs> I think she likes like to. <laughs> uh, now, uh, now, what what do you do, uh, Faye? What are the uh, I mean, what are the categories? How do you compete in this? You just show up and they judge you. They had a lot of different contests. We entered the most identical contest and also the amateur talent contest. But they had the least alike contest also for uh -huh. fraternal twins, so boy and girl twins could compete in that too. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, has this been a uh, a problem for you all your life, or has this been a blessing for you? Is it's it fun? It's been a Is blessing. It? It's yeah. been great. <laughs> Do you, do you have do you have odd experiences like do you, do you know everything about each other without you know talking on the phone do you know like for example what, if the other one has a cold would you know that no, no. Yeah. if we're not together like we don't have psychic powers yeah. or anything like if if something would happen to Faye if she was in a car accident I would not have any feelings yeah. or anything yeah. we we live 300 well no we, what, we you, live... what you mean is you wouldn't know it you would have right. no premonition right. I would be hurt. <laughs> we live 300 miles apart right now, uh -huh. and um, the only time I can tell what she's thinking is when we're together. Right. Like I can, I can look at her and pretty much tell what she's thinking, or if something bothers her, right. things like that, because we're very close. Do you still uh, dress alike? We don't do it very often, mm -hmm. but when we when we are together, it's kind of fun to do it now. For when, the competition, yeah. Right. Oh yes, for the competition, everybody dresses alike. And when you were kids, did your parents dress you alike? Once in a while, they did. They didn't force us. We we were able to choose our own clothes uh -huh. for school and things like that. Yeah. Uh, and uh, do you have any uh, uh, other twins in the family? No. Yeah. We are the youngest of five girls. Now, one of you is married. One is not married. Right. Yeah. I'm married. You're married. Now, do you, do you have any kids yet? No. And now, is it likely that you'll have twins, or do we skip a generation? here? I'm not sure. I do have a girlfriend who who is a twin and had twins. I'm not sure what the statistics yeah, are. Yeah. But uh, I'd love to have twins because I love being a twin. Yeah. Have, have you uh, <laughs> have you ever played any, any jokes where one takes the other's uh, place at work or in school or with a boyfriend or something like that? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Had a lot of fun. <laughs> what, what kind of things did you do? Well, when we were in high school and we were sophomores on April Fool's Day, we switched all of our classes. Did anybody and, know? Uh, th no, not at the time. One of the teachers found out later, a few days later. But we fooled and all of our teachers and our friends, and it was it was hard because we had a lot of accessories we had to switch and purses and <laughs> shoes and get it all done in the detail. Oh yeah, the the nightmare of switching accessories. <laughs> was to go to class and Faye had told me she had drawn a little map like which desk to sit in mm -hmm. and everything and then here's this guy sitting next to me and he starts talking to me and and I've never seen him in my yeah. life and I have to act like hey this is my buddy in biology yeah. you know yeah. and so that part was tough because it was really switching roles and what happened know? when he found out he felt really stupid. He said, I hope I never see your sister again. Wow. Uh, and, and, but now what about your husband? He must uh, be able to tell. Have you, oh, definitely. Did, did, but when you were dating him, was there, <laughs> were there ever any uh, mix-ups with your husband and, and the faith? 
No. <laughs> Are you sure? No. Yeah. <laughs> Automatically, I know which is which here, and I can prove it. If you, if you guys, I'll, I'll look away, and you can switch around, and I can tell you, I know, I can pick you out of a, I can do this. I know, you're Faye, you're Faith. Go ahead, switch it around. Do anything you want. I'll be right over here. <laughs> Don't let me see. Did you shuffle the deck? <laughs> Are you ready? Ladies? Yes. All right. Your faith, your faith. <laughs> Thank you very much. Is that impressive, or am I just being a duck here? That is. That You're is. very observant. Now, most oh, people, people do most people tell. do that. Even, even you know how I can tell? Oh. You, you have a, a mole or an Oreo or something right there, <laughs> and and you don't have it. And I, and I noticed that just before in the makeup room. Oh. Yeah. No one cares. I don't know what I'm even doing here anymore. <laughs> You're a I was lighting my ring. Detail man. You know what? Oh yeah. Thing. See, the ring would have been a tip off too. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Now, uh, before we get uh, too far out of time here, I understand you have a song. We did compete in an amateur talent show, uh -huh. and um, we, well, actually, Faye, I should give Faye the credit. She wrote the song. It's called Two Instead of One. Two Instead and of One. And it's a song about being twins, and we wanted to share it with all the twins okay. there in Twinsburg. All right. Do you need music for this? We don't have music. Paul's not here tonight, so we're out of luck. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. What does Paul have to do with you being here tonight? Uh, oh, no, we were going to ask him to play for us. Oh, I see. But, okay. Um, all right. Acapella. Okay. Faith and Faith Fitzgerald, the most alike twins <laughs> in the world. <laughs> Don't know what life would be without my twin. We've stuck close together through thick and thin. We've always had each other to face life head on together. And even now we're closer than any sister or brother. We've enjoyed double the Commercial, folks. The Fitzgerald.